We're just getting reports in of some kind of explosion at the Langford Energy Plant. It's not clear at this point how serious the damage is, but we will bring you more on that blast as soon as we can get it. A gas explosion occurred at a power plant 37 miles just outside of London. The blast, which took place at the Langford power plant, occurred at 6.23 p.m. London time, leaving many dead. The death toll continues to rise, and several more deaths are to be expected as the night wears on. These images brought to you courtesy of FYI News show the utter devastation around the Langford area. Now let's go live to a young local trainee news reporter who we believe to be the first and only reporter at the Langford plant. George, what can you tell us? Well, having witnessed the explosion from my car, it definitely seems to come from the west of the plant. There is speculation that this could be a savage, hateful act of terrorism, but I must state that this has not been confirmed and there is no immediate threat to the country. And have you any idea what caused the blast? A Chinese woman in her early 30s was seen fleeing the site. She appeared to be injured and police are keen to talk to her. You join me here at the trial of Ling Ling Wong, accused of orchestrating the destruction of the Langford Energy Plant on December the 18th last year. We are expecting to hear some previously unknown evidence from this highly anticipated trial. At the moment, we're awaiting the testimony of Kevin Marshall, whose evidence against Wong is expected to be damning. All parties involved in the trial underwent a full body laser scan. This enables the graphical stenotyper to create a reconstruction of actual events based on witness testimonies. Kevin's hand has just been scanned. This is to confirm his identity and to confirm that he is indeed under oath and must speak the truth. Mr Marshall, would you please inform the court of your actions on the day of December 18th last year? I started my Friday afternoon shift at four. Worked through the first hour and then decided to go and check the gas pipe. It was supposed to have been serviced a few days previous. Was this the same pipe that Health and Safety Inspector Mr Spencer had checked earlier in the week? Yes, that is correct. I'd also informed Mr Elliot again two days before, but nothing were done. But I do understand how busy he was with all the financial uncertainty in the plant. But believe me, if there'd been anything else, I could Mr. have... Mr Marshall, would you please inform the court of your working relationship with Ms Wong? Ms Wong started working at the plant in July of last year. At first I was cautious of approaching her. Except for that day in August when we had that disagreement. But we've got to know each other a little better since and I find she's quite pleasant. In my opinion. Objection, Your Honour. This is not what happened. Objection overruled. I believe Ms. Young has some evidence of this incident. Yes, Your Honour, I do. Would the court please turn to the screen and watch the CCTV footage of the incident? As this footage shows, Ling Ling Wong is visibly seen tampering with the security camera. This leads to the loss of footage here. And when the camera resumes filming, we see Ling Ling Wong at Kevin Marshall's computer. What she was doing in that time, we can only imagine. I spoke exclusively off the record to the key figures in this trial to give you extra information surrounding the case. I can't believe they found all that stuff on my computer. She, she must have been sly going through all my things like that. And, and to think she wouldn't get caught. 
I'm pleased she's getting some sort of punishment. The jury at the Langford Energy trial have been shown CCTV footage of a Chinese worker, Ling Ling Wong, allegedly tampering with a gas pipe. Our correspondent for the Langford trial, Tony O'Grady, will tell us what the jury saw. Ling Ling Wong is visibly seen moving towards the far end of Mr Marshall's workspace at the Langford Energy plant. It's clear to see that Miss Wong is interfering with the gas pipe that led to the explosion at the plant six months ago. This new piece of evidence is one of many in the past few days that will put more pressure on Miss Wong when she is questioned later this week. After Kevin Marshall's testimony, we are going to hear from the paramedic Stephanie Johnson, who was at the explosion, to tell us what she witnessed. The reasons behind Ms Young's decision to call Ms Johnson to the stand are unknown, but we can expect some crucial evidence to be delivered to the court over the next few hours. It seems as though Judge Robertson is ready, so let's begin. Now, Ms Johnson, as you were the first paramedic on the scene soon after the blast, Ms Young will ask you a few questions about Ms Wong. But first, could you inform your findings, findings that, that day? We received a call from the Home Office of numerous deaths registering on their database. They were all located at Langford Energy Plant by the life chips located under the skin or worn as a watch. So we drove straight to the remains of the plant and began our search for survivors and it was at that point that I found Mr Marshall trapped under his car. And you also saw the defendant running away in a matter of urgency. Could you explain your thoughts on that? Yes, I came across Miss Wong just before I attended to Mr Marshall. I thought it was kind of odd that she was running away a good 10 minutes after the explosion. She also seemed remarkably unharmed and her clothes were perfectly clean. And you have all this on video, am I correct? Yes, my uh, colleague was filming the whole thing in a small camera located in his safety helmet. We do this so that we can capture the immediate situation before, for example, the police or forensics arrive. I'd ask the court again to turn to our evidence on the interactive screen to see what Miss Johnson is referring to. 